I'm sorry. Both of you look a little bit too clean. One of you's gotta go. What's up, guys? I'm Punzo, and here to do a breakdown slash live reaction review to chapter 56 of Kagura Matsuda, which is known as it's on the first page. Or actually, it probably is on the first page, but my glorious screen is taken up by my glorious king, Hakari. And lastly, it don't matter how deep in that first page it is. He looking a little bit too clean. So let's not waste any more time and let's hop right into it. And enemy, are you ready? Three, two, one, go. What's up, guys? That guy with a ooh, pencil here. Fun fact, I do mean to have it on and keep it on me at all times. Then another fun fact, Hakari looks mad clean here, bro. I'm sorry, the suit, fire. The buttons on the suit, fire. The embroider, I think, tie, fire. The black aura leaking out of his dark mask eyepiece, fire. The glare, fire. The blade, fire. Like, Hockley, I was not familiar with your game, baby. You looking clean with it. You're looking clean with it. And I got to respect the hustle. What can I say? But I'm intrigued. Once again, I do think we're going to get a 50-50 trade. Unfortunately, I wholeheartedly believe, unless Shihiro actively lops off Hirohiko's head right now, in this chapter, Samura and or... Oh my I'm sorry, Uda. Well, he... I mean, no, I sacrificed Samura. I, 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 but Uda, I know. I like Samura. That's the thing. It is, I don't blame you. It is. It was a really hard choice. When I made that poll, I was like, one of them's got to go. Which one is it? Even I can't really tell you off the top I don't piece. But I do agree with the common sentiment. Samura's a little bit too complete. He, he's like he's he's like already kind of he's not done as a character. You could easily do more of the character, obviously easily. But this is Kazuma Bachi, bro. One of them's going. You know he can, he's getting that power up, dog. So somebody's gotta go. But let's not waste any more time. Let's hop away into chapter fifty six. Let me see. Daybreak. Woo! Oh, we better lock it. Because remember, the last chapter ended with Hakuri opening that maskly eye. So let's see how he looks. Who he's summoning? Who he's summoning? Let's see. 30 minutes, wait, yes, 30 minutes is just the minimum recovery time you'll need to use your sorcery again without risk. It's only been about 10 minutes. Uh, what do you mean by risk? It could damage your brain so that you can never use sorcery again. Worst case, you could die. Okay, so neither of those are happening. <laughs> neither of those are happening. Hakuri's a little bit too important. Once again, Kagurabachi, it's, it's fancy. It's, it's crazy. It's built different, but unfortunately for it, Hokuzono says, I see through your games, dog. That's, that's a nice little threat. Calm little threat, calm little threat, calm little threat, calm little threat. I see the threat. I can smell. I'm getting a strong whiff of it. I can feel its spiritual pressure from here. But Hakuri's a little bit too important. He's like, at this point, I'd say he's our Deuteragonist. Before, I would have said our Deuteragonist was Shiba. But now, nah, nah, nah. We gotta, we low-key gotta, actually, what's actually an example that we're gonna meet our Deuteragonist so late? I don't want to lie and say Vegeta. Because, like, for OG Dragon Ball, the Deuteragonist is technically Bulma. Technically, you could argue Bulma's the main character of original Dragon Ball, but really, Goku's the main character and Bulma's the Deuteragonist. And then, in mainline Dragon Ball, is there even a Deuteragonist? I mean, Gohan, technically. Gohan, I guess, would be the Deuteragonist for Z. And then for Super, it's obviously Vegeta. So I guess maybe you argue that. You argue that. But then Bulma's the different part one. Gohan's there right at the beginning. And Vegeta's there right at the beginning. So you really cannot. I actually can't think of that. When has that Deuteragon has been introduced so late? Like, we've spent a long time with Hakuri, so it feels like he's been here forever. But I think he's showed up, like, after the Sojo arc. So that's at least, like, the 30s. So it's actually kind of crazy that we got introduced to what I assume is our Deuteragonist this late. But because he's our Deuteragonist, none of those two things are going to happen. He needs to give you access to his sorcery, and we need him alive. If Okuzoma Sensei breaks conventions and offs, bro, right here, right now... I'll admit my mind would be very blown. Let's see. I'm the only one who hasn't risked his life yet. First, I have to touch Mrs. Mrs. Samara or Mr. Uraha and register them. Oh, oh! I can already see the brain damage, bro. Look at that. He's dripping from his nose, from the nostrils. He's cut. Wait, if you overdo it, you'll... Darn. <laughs> I should, should, wait, I shouldn't be loud. But darn, see? No, two so you'd have it activated for two seconds, bro. So, I mean it makes like it makes sense. And obviously it'd be way too soon, right? Like if one of that's that's the big issue right now. Things have to get worse before Hakuri can cook. Oh I mean, maybe, who knows? Maybe we'll get better this chapter. It's called daybreak. It's called daybreak. But you would think things have to get worse before they get better. 
Because so far, Udaha and Samura are both alive. And in fact, they're working together. And they have the whole entire ninja squad with them. So, like, clearly they should be fine. For now. The only issue would be is if that other high-collar, best genus ripoff Hishaku member shows up. If Yuda shows up. If Hirohiko shows up. If anyone shows up, that's the issue. But then again, at the same time, Chihiro could reappear. And that would also tip the skills in their favor as well. So, like, technically, somebody's got to go before Alkari can get viable with it. Because I say right now, if Uraha or Samara, Samara would be preferable because he's clearly the stronger of the two. But if either of them get their Enchanted Blaze back, we're cooked. Or not, we're cooked. The enemy's cooked. And I don't think we're going to we're gonna end up that positive. We're, well, this is Kagura Baji, bro. We're going to lose some. But let's see. Mm. That's interesting, though. She immediately stepped quite clean. Let's see. Bro, <laughs> genuinely shut his <laughs> You know, I like that though. That reminds me of a moment in another new gen manga of mine that I'm really, really. Well, not of mine. I don't know. Me, but another new gen manga that I've covered on the channel. In Gachikuda, there's a moment with a character where they like had this really cool, really epic moment where you're they're like, don't worry, I'm gonna show you my real power. And then you cut, like, not, not even next chapter, that same chapter. And their opponent, like, just impaled him with a hallucinogenic. So the character is just tweaking out in their head, believing they're winning. When meanwhile, they're actually spazzing on the ground. <laughs> That's the same thing Rock. He's looking so clean that cover. He's looking so clean last time. But the moment Bro went to use Sorcerer again, his brain just went. <clears throat> That's interesting, man. That's interesting. I wonder if they could call around a piece of it. No, stop. It didn't work, but that's fine. You're not the one who should be pushing yourself right now. We'll need your powers later. Honestly, it may, I mean... It really depends on how well of a handle that Samuna and Ura had on it. But maybe he should have just waited the 20 minutes. If, if they if they could stall. Like, I get risking it at a certain point, but as long as they could stall. But then again, no, no, no. Because if he was, was going to wait the 20 minutes, he'd have to survive. The main reason she was like, hey, don't do it now, is because she had made a warp portal for him to get him out of there. So... Yeah, it was now or never. I don't I don't blame him for that. And once again, Hakuri, he's new to this. Like, he had no idea. He thought he was the MC, but unfortunately, you the dude to rag this before. Let's see. <clears throat> Summer's still cooking, though. You're certainly persistent. However. Huh? Oh. What is this? Are these people growing out of pe- Are they getting attached to the- What is happening? Oh, is he puppeteering? Ooh. Ooh, man, getting vines up your butt. And someone's just... Puppet yeah, that's nasty. Ew. Kill. Have these guys been brainwashed? Wait. Oh, this Una. Have these guys been brainwashed? They look like zombies. Teamwork is pointless against their sheer numbers. This is our limit. Oh, well, see, so yeah. Okay, so so honestly, in my opinion, how could you make the right choice? Because if they're getting overwhelmed the same instant, yeah. Yeah. Honestly... I, I hate to say, the strat may have been to warp them all out of there. Like, I get why fighting and trying to maintain the temple was, like, the initial play. But the moment those reinforcements are flooding in, if she could really teleport them all out, like, that should that may have needed to be, like, the immediate A plan. Like, stall enough so she can complete the circle so y'all can all get out of there immediately. And hopefully, like, one get, one way it so once she's through, they can't follow. Because this is a little, this is a little bit insane. Or at least, even if they could follow through the portal... Have it be so that you're stationed right there so you can just keep lopping their heads off. What's it? Oh, okay. So that's the immediate reason. Only four can use only four can use to transport Mandala. They're going berserk with the Datsunseki right now. We need to at least get the sword bearers out of here. As for the rest of us, we're cooked. But okay, so only four people can use it. That explains it. So, and I wonder if that's, like, a one-use... I don't, I forget if it's implied or established if the mandalas are a one-use thing. Like, once you teleport one person, that's it. That mandala can only be used for three person. Or if it's, like, a four person at a time thing. Based on how she's talking, I'm gonna assume it's a four-person limit. And then the mandala itself may either lose its magical effectiveness or flat-out disappear. Mm. But, you know what? It makes perfect sense that it's four. Because, remember, he has a three ninja that work with him who move in silent, silence. And then he himself, Samuna. So it makes sense why it's four, but just in this was a situation, if it was a sixer, it would have worked out. But As for the rest of us, the Maikizumi are a family of ninja that goes back centuries. In each generation, they attend their chosen master and dedicate themselves faithfully and selflessly, serving as tools to protect. In the Saite War, they served the organization that would later become the Kawanabe. Ooh, interesting. 
Interesting. Interesting. But that doesn't imply that Samura's family is related directly to them. It just implies that a person of the Maikazumi family ended up serving the group that would become the Kawadabi. And then, I suppose, just on to loyalty after that, too, considering the Silver and the Sword Bearers. Nearly all of them sacrificed their lives in the line of duty. Their descendants continued to serve the Kawanabi after the war. Oh no. These characters I just met. Uh, that, that, is, that is one thing I'll admit. Actually, no, no, no. Kong, no, no Kakarabachi's limited with it. It's limited with it. it. It's actually very particular about its ends. Sometimes. Like, obviously we had the last time with Uraha where, like, I could not care less about any of the characters. I just feel bad for Uraha. It's probably gonna be another similar case here, but other than that, it's not really, it's not really too common in Kakarabachi. Typically, Hogan's almost says it'll be like, don't worry. These characters will perish. Don't worry about them. What's it? Oh, I love how, I love how even the boss is like, oh, I'm really better get cut. We are tools to protect our master. Oh, okay, so we're, so we're, so if we're hammering this in this deep, Summer's gonna sacrifice himself for them, I'm guessing. Right? Because, no, because they need to remove Hockney himself as well. So, two people would need to stay behind because currently they have six. They have the three ninja, then they have someone himself, then they have Udaha, and think think or oh, not, not, not hirohiko in uraha and hakuri they need six so they need to leave two behind so i'm assuming it'll be the woman and samura considering she could draw another portal maybe to protect our master hey this is excessive uh-huh three years prior oh only three years let's see object all you like but we've been charged with your protection you're our master the Guardians... Oh, the Guardians of the Fortress have been selected with compatibility... Oh, have been selected for compatibility with the Sword Bearers. The Makizumi didn't have a deep connection with Samura, but... We're the only ones who can fight alongside you. Without your enchanted blade, you'll need help. That's true. I, uh, that's the only thing with Samura, though. I also get flashbacks. I don't think we'll ever see him wield his enchanted blade. We had that one flashback where we like got to see all six in action. But I don't remember seeing Samurai's design specifically in there, and I would have loved to have seen him wield it. Even if I'm going to give it to a character who technically will probably wield it better in the long run. Like, that's, that's the thing, right? He, he goes getting his hand on that enchanted blade. Like, he's getting one. He's at, le he's at least getting one enchanted blade. So, like, so like, 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 he should, like, he should be fine with it. So maybe that's why we are going to see it, but still be clean. It'd be clean. Let's go. I don't mind bodyguards. It's all the rest. Past two weeks since I arrived, all my stomach growls. A meal appears. Actually, it's pretty impressive. <laughs> it's coming out of nowhere. And leaves the meal specifically. There's a bug. The moment I recoil, it's gone. The second I wake up, the curtains are open. <laughs> actually, it's pretty impressive, though. That, they're that intended. And since he's blind, he can't even tell. <laughs> that is actually multi layers are crazy. Since he's blind, he literally cannot tell where they are. <laughs> That's crazy. Let's see. All this covert stuff. It's you guys, right? It's overprotective. Our job also entails seeing to your needs. It's way too much. Don't worry. We'll do anything. We're ninja. We don't need your empathy. Think of us as tools. In an emergency, we'll lay down our lives for you. <laughs> That's a level of devotion I just could never... I, I, I mean, like, for, for my own family. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. For just once I have kids, bro, I don't know what I wouldn't do for them kids. Like, man, I'm, I'm just thinking of all the insane things I do. But even that being the case, just for a random, even just for a paycheck, even if historically, I just cannot imagine, like, yes, I will do everything, including sacrificing my own life for yours because you're my glorious. Man. No, no, I don't think I will. <laughs> Tom Dougie's broski. Maybe you should have got better bodyguards because it shouldn't have been me. Well, let's see. Lies for you. And I'm saying cut it out. I'm sure your crazy skills and all, but you're just kids. They're all kids? I'm over 20. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so yeah, he's, that's right. He's an adult. That's a, that's a little joke. He looks young and small. He's like Levi. What's it? 20 somethings are still kids. I'm not into youngsters sacrificing themselves for an old geezer like me. If you want to serve me, cut the tools nonsense. No sacrificing yourselves. If we're going to get live at Senkutsuji together. We're gonna, we're gonna impose on each other. Ah. 
See, like this is he's so he's so he's so he's so finished. He's so done. And like and this is this is like a double entendre. He's so finished and he's so done. It's just, he's about to die. Like there's like there's no way we we save Samurai and and off Uraha. There's no way. Hirohiko is not getting Uraha the way. I refuse to believe it, dog. Because we are making like this is the sympathetic speed run. This, this is like I've seen it so many times when a character's about to yeah. And then bad, yeah. The author will let you know in like sometimes subtle, but the most unsubtle way possible. This is one of the ways where it's unsubtle. Well, like I can tell from how many cool flashbacks we're getting of him to all the hype he got to the fact that we've set up the fact that a main villain, possibly the main rival for Chihiro, the main antagonist for Chihiro in the long run, is going to need an enchanted blade. Like we've done so much that honestly. I can't, I, like, I cannot see bro living. If he doesn't fall this chapter, he's falling in the next three. Let's see. All right. We're going to shred them all. I'm sorry, Samara. This isn't your destiny, bro. Even she's like, I'm sorry. I have to do this to you. Do you really think Mr. Samara will allow us to transport him? Yeah, of course not. He, he's, too, he's too him. He's too him. He's too him. He's too nice. He's too clean. He's too perfect. He needs to go. It's for the character development, y'all. It's all for the... And if it's for the character development, doesn't that make it okay? Huh? Uh, okay, let's stop. Let's see. No, not him. He won't let us die for him. But with this many enemies, he won't relent. Mm, because he's too locked in. Ooh, okay, okay, let's see. We're not looking back. Oh, he's getting dumped by a tree gang and you're still pulling up on TV. Let's see. Hey, there's no time to hesitate. <laughs> he's like, focus up, focus up, please. Looks like the building's reached its limit. Let's finish this. Mm. That that is crazy. I'm I wonder though because someone pointed out the perfect idea that technically all well then again we don't know Judah, but so far all the all the Hishaka members we've seen have some sort of aspect with trees, except for I think well no 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 they all do they all do because technically Hiro Hugo's paper is made of trees. Then obviously the this Hishaku guy very specifically uses like actual whole full-scale plans which are also could include trees and then we finally have judah who also uses that same wood wall so like this is it seems like their common overall theme is something to do with trees so i'm interested to see how that ends up working out in the long run let's see <clears throat> falling apart ah to confuse the senses with his senses overwhelmed by the noise and smoke the only guiding light available is bloodlust somewhere will orient Towards that glimmer, he only has what? Ooh, his only beacon in the chaos. Someone will, Samura will follow it. Mm, no, Samura, this is gonna be a trust. <laughs> I don't have much faith. Let's see. Swing. Ah, that's the thing. You know. But you know. Calm little feet. Calm little feet for Ura, dog. He really said, whoa. Whoa. He really hit him with the. Whoa, boss man. I'm, I, I'm still on your side. I, I, he may make me sound like Orochimaru, but I swear I'm not him. And you are not Jiraiya. Please get that sword away from me. Or you... Or you're not, you are not Hiroshim. Please stop attacking. But interesting. Oh, you know why, probably? Because he mentioned he can't see. He can't see the bloodlust or negative intentions of the trees. Because it's a tree. And he likely can't see the bloodlust of these things screaming at him to die or to kill him. Because now they're just part of the tree. They're an extension of that. So, ultimately, he only attacks Uraha. Because even the ninjas have perfect control and bodily autonomy, but Uraha doesn't. He still exhibits bloodlust. No! No! But let's see. Boom! That made me throw that material right there. Hey! Uraha! What the? Forgive me, Mr. Samara. Oh, 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 he baited. Oh, that's clean. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that was hot. Oh, that, I thought that was accidental. No, he baited Broski. It. That is actually genius. That is actually... Where is your other shoe? Oh, no. He has a flip-flop on here. I was about to say, where is your other shoe? Why are your feet bare? Nah, that's kind of clean with it. He said, hold on. 
The only way we're going to get this man to teleport is if we bamboozle him. So let me activate my blood lust real quick. And he got some of the right to That big old brain of yours. Uh, what the? Please forgive me, Mr. Samara. He won't relent, but I can guide him with my bloodlust. There's no time to hesitate. Mm hmm. Thank you. Hey! Wait! No. No. No! Samara, you're gonna die anyway. Peter! gonna die in that stupid co I cannot do that. That woman did a fantastic job on that. And I, and I just saw her redux recently. Like, she died, like, literally today. But, darn, G. Where's Hakuri? Where's Hakuri? Where's my baby boy? Where's Hakuri? Did they not tell for him? Ugh, I'm going back in. No, I can't allow it. We're taking Hakuri and going down this cliff. Oh, okay. I don't see Hakuri here, though. It's about to get dark, so we can escape into the darkness. Mmm. It's the only victory we can reap in exchange for their lives. Mm -hmm. But that's the thing, Unaha knows. He cared deeply for the people at his fortress, and seeing them off obviously made him feel some type of way, but he just didn't react. So, like, he, he gets it. That's interesting. Unaha understands the value of his own life and the value of maintaining his life above those he once cared for. Well, it looks like... It looks like this isn't the case. So we have no case. But let's see. <sighs> Did you really think they were just throwing their lives away as tools? Huh. Mr. Samara, you never allowed us to exert ourselves for you. You refused to let us sacrifice our lives for you. That's how you made it. That's how you are. All the more reason. We're the cut. We're ninja. We don't need your cut. Wow, that's a crazy bar. We're ninja. We don't need your empathy. No! Draw another circle there, Cook. I'll take. We refuse to let you die. Mm, Eagly with it. They're fighting desperately to prevent the enemy from reaching B5. Wait, what? They're fighting desperately to prevent the enemy from reaching us. Unfortunately, the best way you can take. You can honor them is by surviving. That is true. It's all. It's always, always been for the sword bearers, and someone is the sword bearer in this case. And it's interesting. You know, what I like that is Udoha who's guiding someone here, and it's the student guy and the master. Just like technically, it was the same thing elsewhere. But let's see. I have no idea what I just said. My brain just lied. Let's see. You better survive, or we'll curse you. As berries of, as bearers of the enchanted blades. Our lives are gravely consequential. That is true. But he's still gonna die anyway. Ah, no. The small guy in his mid 20s is getting cooked. Oh, shut up. I don't need a lecture. What I need. Oh, shoot. Look who woke up. Look who woke up. Hi there. But we're almost at the end of the chapter. No. Crackle. <laughs> this Toby Mune uh oh crow uh oh he's uh, hey what's happening someone's attacking I don't know what this is oh he sliced oh never mind this is the thumbnail dog oh he's wow he's back you guys are fire. He's like, I'm so mad. So mad y'all hard work me out of there. Okay, so shout out to Hakuri. I really thought he wasn't going to be allowed to cook this shepherd, but he cooked. Summer's back and he's cooking. Udaha may get his blade too. Maybe we're just cooking. Maybe the sword masters are actually going to be characters who are going to last around for a while. Okay. <laughs> but now we're, we're finally, finally going to see an actual master of an enchanted blade wield their power, specifically against the Hishaku. So far, we've seen amateurs and people who are been trained, but still technically are amateurs, like your Chihiros, like your Sojos, like your, whatever his name was, the, the, the dad, like we like the head of the I'm going, we've seen novices or extremely trained people or somewhere in between wield them. We've never seen the blade master themselves, and he's about to cook. No, why do I still feel like he's gonna die? But regardless, one more time for the two times. 
Well, that sounded beautiful. This chapter is undeniably worthy. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, leave the crow returns. <laughs> and you know what? It's so cool that they call the chapter Daybreak, but his ability steeped in darkness. <laughs> but leave day. No, not Daybreak. Leave. Leave. The no. Leave. Ah! Leave Daybird. Daybird. <laughs> literally, the word day instead of Daybreak. Daybird. <laughs> I was gonna say Day Crow, but I think Daybird sounds funnier. So leave Daybird in the comment section down below. And thanks so much for watching. Please remember to leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the of the channel. Also, also, I do happen to have a Patreon down below where you can support me for as long as one, kind of one, a month. Things like exclusive videos, early content, and more. You also now become a member of the channel for as long as three dollars a month to get the same perks and more. Those perks include the live reactions, where the series I have to review, and if you're very small my videos, and becoming a $25 patron or a $25 member, you can order whatever video you want. Also, 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 I do a link to my co fi in the description down below where you drop five means for short video, 20 means long video, or any means at all. Any support is always greatly appreciated. Now, I'd like to thank you so much for watching once again, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. This is That Other Pencil, writing off. I'd like to give a thank you to our three dollar members: Zara, Greyhound, Eternal Flame, Red Wolf, four seven six five, Astro, Brandon Payne, Glacier XZ, and G Prosper. And I'd like to give a thank you to our five dollar members: A Plus A, Igneal Lin, Kevin and Carnacion, Midnight Lord twenty one, and Sean. And I'd like to give a thank you to our seven dollar members: Fine, Austin Wimberly, A Uchiha, and Yuki Ally. And I'd like to give a thank you to our $10 members, AZ Void, J Warrior, and Robbie Uchiha. And I'd like to give a big old thank you to our $10 patrons, Overlord Zero, Waki Munoz, Waki Munoz, and Idem Okami. And I'd like to give a final giga gracious gargantuan thank you to our $100, that guy with a pencil tier patron, Calvin Elder.